dinosaurs, ancient titans of a world that no longer exists. Creatures of power and grace, erased by time, but never by wonder. They were ancient titans, masters of a world before ours, and then they were gone. But what if they didn't have to be? What if we could bring them back? Could science and AI make Jurassic Park real? Could we one day walk beside a living T-Rex? The truth is, we're trying. But it's not as simple as Hollywood makes it look. De-extinction, the idea of reviving lost species, is already underway. Scientists are working to restore animals like the passenger pigeon, the thylacine, and even the dodo. The process is delicate. They edit the DNA of a living relative to match the extinct species as closely as possible. We don't resurrect the exact animal. We rebuild it, cell by cell, from the closest blueprint nature left behind. Take the woolly mammoth. Unlike dinosaurs, mammoths went extinct only a few thousand years ago. Some are still preserved in ice, their DNA almost intact. Now, scientists are inserting mammoth genes into modern Asian elephants. The goal? A cold-resistant hybrid that could one day help restore Arctic ecosystems. It's not a perfect clone, but it's close, and it's real. But with dinosaurs, things get far more complicated. They died out over 65 million years ago. And DNA, like all organic material, breaks down over time. Even under the best conditions, it degrades after just a few hundred thousand years. So despite what the movies showed us, we can't extract T-Rex blood from a mosquito in amber. That's pure fiction. But AI is already changing how we think about the impossible. It's helping scientists fill genetic gaps, predict loss traits, and simulate entire extinct organisms. Could a future AI rebuild dinosaur DNA from patterns alone? Maybe not the real thing, but something close. A synthetic life form designed to act like one a digital echo of evolution a biological illusion but if we could do it should we dinosaurs evolved in a world utterly different from ours the air the gravity even the bacteria everything has changed a t-rex today might suffer or destabilize ecosystems that already hang by a thread and what if we did it for profit or entertainment not for science not for life. Is that ethical? Is it wise? Maybe the real power of de-extinction isn't in bringing back ancient monsters, but in asking better questions about life, about extinction, about creation itself. If we could one day recreate an extinct species, or even invent a new one, what would that make us? Just clever animals or gods of our own ecosystems? The same power that could restore life could also destroy it. Imagine a creature with no natural predators, or one carrying ancient bacteria our immune systems can't recognize. One mistake could collapse food chains, or unleash something the modern world isn't ready to face. But what if we use this power differently? What if we design life to heal the planet? Creatures that clean oceans, restore forests, or breathe new life into dying ecosystems. We could even build biosystems meant to sustain life on Mars. Imagine, life is a tool to preserve life itself. Maybe the next chapter of evolution won't be written by nature, but by us. So no, we can't bring back dinosaurs. Not yet. Maybe not ever. But with mammoths, AI, and synthetic life, we're already standing at the edge of something extraordinary. The question isn't, can we bring back the past? It's, what kind of future are we building instead?